Hi, my name is Mark Hamill. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Horizon Technology. And today we're going to talk about some unique solutions to sample prep for EPA Method 8270. Uh, this method is a complex method performed by most environmental labs. Uh, it's used to analyze semi-volatile organic compounds from a variety of different water sources, um, surface water, river water, ground water, effluent. Um, and it's typically, or historically, has been a com complicated method to automate. Um, up until now, most, most environmental labs use manual techniques like liquid-liquid or continuous liquid extraction uh, for processing these types of samples. Um, there, are, there are complications that arise when using those manual methods, such as emulsions. Uh, they can take a long time, 24 to 48 hours to process a sample. Um, and often lead to uh, high rates of re-extraction. So what we have is a, a, a technique that involves solid phase extraction. Uh, we've recently launched a new solid phase extraction disc. It's a 47 millimeter disc. Uh, we call it our Atlantic 8271 pass. And it enables the, the, uh, the ability to extract over 200 semi-volatile organic uh, compounds uh, using a solid phase extraction technique. And what we're going to show you today is uh, our unique ability using our 4790 extractors to process three different types of water matrices, clean, moderately dirty, and extremely dirty uh, samples. Uh, these sample mat matrices represent uh, perhaps somebody who is sampling and um, in the process of sampling the water digs deeply into a, the bottom of a riverbed where there's lots of sediment, lots of particulates. Um, or, in some cases, the water samples are very clean. So what we have is a unique series of disc holders that all accommodate our 8271 pass disc, 47 millimeter size disc. Uh, so in this case, with a clean water sample, we're going to use our 47 millimeter disc holder, uh, and the disc simply gets inserted into this, uh, because we don't have to worry too much about clogging with such a clean water sample. Uh, if, it was, if there was some particular matter, we could also add a pre-filter to this disc holder to give us some uh, added capacity for sediment. But in this case, we'll use no pre-filters in our standard disc holder. Uh, with the moderately contaminated sample, which has about six grams of sediment in a liter of water, we're gonna use our fast flow sediment disc holder. Uh, and in this disc holder, we have the ability to put our 47 millimeter disc below and then a series of pre-filters in this large chamber above where there's ample surface area to help contain and block the sediment from clogging the analytical disk, but include that sediment in the extraction. And then for the extreme case where we have 35 grams of sediment in, in this liter sample, we're gonna use a, a, a slightly different variation of our fast flow sediment disk holder with a variety of different pre-filters. And I'll show you how we assemble that. Um, on the table here, we have all of the pieces, and we've got our fast flow sediment disc holder. We will put our 8271 pass SPE disc in there, followed by a support, and then we'll put the collar on. Okay, so we have our disc. Now, above the disc, we'll put a metal support, and then two different pre filters a 1 micron and a 5 micron pre filter above the disc followed by some glass wool. And depending on the level of sediment in your sample, you would vary the amount of wool. Uh, and then lastly, we'll use a metal fine mesh screen um, and basically create a layered effect to pre-filter the sediment um, without risking clogging of the disc. Put that on this device. Uh, you'll, we also have the ability, you'll see one of these machines, our, the Senate instrument has carbon cartridge configured. These carbon cartridges are used um, in some cases to extract light end semi-volatile organic compounds. So uh, those analytes that aren't retained on the disc uh, that are light compounds we can capture using our carbon cartridge. This is an optional accessory. Okay, I'm going to load these samples now onto the extractor. So plain sample, obviously six grams of uh, sediment in this liter sample. And then 
we have, we're going to shake this one up really well, 35 grams of sediment. And I'm going to start the water filtration step. So now you'll see the, uh, the water filtering onto these various disc holders. It will take approximately 10 minutes to process a really clean sample um, filtering through the disc and approximately 20 to 30 minutes, perhaps shorter than that, uh, for a dirty sample. And uh, if you want to see more about these solutions, the products, or applications, please visit Horizon's website, www.horizontechinc.com, where we have uh, application note describing this particular technique uh, on our wastewater and groundwater sections page. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching the video.